Already? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Welcome to Cooking for Blogs. This is Chef Fabrizio. Like it, share it, and subscribe. Now I'm gonna do a quick recipe. This is like um, a Roman dish. Italia will love this, because you come back two o'clock in the morning from a club, you want something quick. Do you understand? So we call it this one pasta, aglio e olio e peperoncino. Aglio e olio, which is a base of garlic, which is this. A little bit dry chili. Parsley, or you can use rocket. Rocket is in family, you know what I mean? Now you see step by step. Okay, we got boiling water in here. You got like a handful of salt, don't forget, because if you forget, it's gonna be too salty. So, handful of salt, right? You got pasta in here, that's how you open it. So, let's start cooking. All right, we're gonna put olive oil, because it's the base, aglio olio, right? You got the garlic, the garlic is easy. You open it, you press on it, all right? And you peel it off. Now, this is quick because I'm um, two o'clock in the morning. You can't do much, much trouble in the kitchen, especially when people are sleeping at home. Do you know what I mean? So you need something quick, not fast, and you want to eat it within 10 minutes tops. All right. So here yeah, we count see like time the pasta is ready. In fact, before we do the sauce in here, what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some um, pasta first. So we start boiling and we start to cook the pasta. So you got your garlic. Right. Yeah, it's boiling. Once it's boiling, it's been the salty rinse all over. Say, this is enough for three minutes. More than enough. More than enough. More than enough. More than enough. Yeah. It's just a quick snack. It's nothing like, um, do you know what I mean? It has got zero calories. It's got the same calorie of an apple. So it's not like, um, you go to sleep anyway. <laughs> nah. So you don't need nothing heavy. Right? And you don't need to kiss anybody because this one is anti-kisses. Even Dracula is the far from you. <laughs> Alright? So we got this. The pasta is already start cooking. Alright? I hope you like this recipe. I hope my guests like this recipe. Alright. So the pasta, you don't need to put oil in it. Many people they ask me, I always say the same thing. Is it good to put the oil so the pasta is not gonna get touched? No. The only reason we put the oil to give the flavor to the water. And you do it when the water is cold, before it's boiling. So time you reach the boiling point, you got the flavor of oil all over. And of course it won't stick. But the trick is you follow it stay with the pasta for the first minutes. Alright? So it won't stick. Especially the long one, long one is a disaster. Alright, we got this one done. We start with the garlic. What I do, many people they do very, very thin now. What I do, right? I do them like that. So that they're easy to dissolve. You know what I mean? Right? Nothing like fancy. You can do it many ways. Depends what makes you happy. Right? I like it like this. So you can see the garlic flow and so forth. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm talking about? But again, you can chop it even thinner. So you go, you go around, left and right, and just make it thinner, right? Now, this is very hot chili. So I'm gonna put just a little bit. That is a lot. This is a lot, all right guys? This is a lot of chili. So aglio e olio e peperoncino. So garlic, aglio, olio, and chili. That's it, that's all you need. Done, simple as that. Imagine, you're in your kitchen, and this is the sauce, it's already done. Now we just have to wait for the pasta. Which will take a good seven minutes. And the sauce is done already. If you don't believe me, I'll show you, look. I'm gonna put this one back on the stove. The weight is hot. And I just flavor, that's what you get here. You get the flavor out of it. Some people they just drain the pasta and put just olive oil, just like that, they eat it like that, especially southern. More the olive oil is good, the more is better. Do you know what I mean? I got an average Spanish olive oil, which is not bad. Look at that, look how easy it is. Look. Look at that. So just give it a color. You don't want it brown, golden brown. Now 
time. That's all you need. All right. But after the last second, when we drain the pasta, so we just wait it for the pasta. Really. Now what you can do, you can put some parsley in there. If you not parsley, I always got a bag of rockets. So you get a handful of rockets, right? The same, it's the same flavor of the, of the parsley. Same family, it's got a rocket thing. So you put a little bit of green in there. So always have a bag of rockets. It lasts you at least three, four days. It doesn't go off easy. So it's a good salad to have. Parsley lasts you less, depends. This can last you up to one week if it's a good, good rocket. So just put the rocket to give it flavor. Can you see guys in there, this is ready. And now uh, you drip the olive oil in there, you can even add oh, more olive oil. Oh, yeah. You understand? This is cold, mm -hmm. so we cool it down a bit. That's too much. Isn't that more. too much oil, no? No, it's okay. Because it's the only sauce we got. Mm. You can put pretty much everything for this. You can put tuna, you can put whatever, whatever you fancy. This is a base. It's called aleoli. If you ask a chef aleoli, we use it for base for many things. Mm. Done, this is done. Look at that. Nice, perfect. Yes. Golden brown. It is smell the kitchen, it can smell the rocket, the garlic. Same saying, what they cook is a simple recipe like ABC. We're just waiting for the pasta, really. All right. And you know, I spoke with many people, you know how they try the pasta? You see if it's thick. I don't think it's thick because we didn't even pass the five minutes. I can feel already it's too hard. All right. So what we do now, we don't need this, we don't need that. We need plates. That's what we need. Very simple recipe, guys. It's nothing fancy. So don't forget, pasta is a, like a middle course. It's not a starter. It's not main course. And you can do it both. A small portion can become a starter, and then it can become a, a main course. Depends. But literally, it's a middle course. Now this one is a banger middle course because we we're not really having a snack before. We might have a dessert after, depends if you still fall. This is lots of pasta, for, two, for example. It's either they put literally two or tops, three forks, they say. Do you know what I mean? It's a middle course. So cut the meal. We're waiting for the pasta. We got everything ready. Remember, aglio, olio e peperoncino. And let's wait for this to drain. Is it ready? Hard. It doesn't even stick. You keep the sauce warm. They say this is as easy as. What are we gonna drink? Juice, beer? Do you want a beer? No. Or I'll, 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 um, Red Bull. Alright. I'm having a Moretti. I'm having a Moretti. See this? The sauce is done. That's why before anything else, I put the water boiling because this is easy. That, another dish is as easy, I can show you next time, is parmesan. You drain the pasta, you leave a little water, you put the parmesan, you melt it, you combine it together, it's fantastic. You put the parmesan on top. Simple things and time are best. Do you like al dente? Can we eat al dente? What's al dente? Al dente is mean uh, firm to the bite. No, no, I'll wait to the sauce. Man. I don't like plain pasta. Like see that. when you see when you see like uh, the white in it, al dente, which is mean uh, al dente. That's why we call it al dente because you can see the white and it's firm. This is too much firm. Wait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when it's al dente, you digest it quicker. Is it when it's yeah. a little raw? It's not really raw when it's firm because your stomach you find it easier to separate from one another. Oh. If you overcook the pasta, it gets soft. It's block and uh, too soft. It's noise. It's not nice to eat. Yeah. And your stomach it takes too much to separate it. Do you know what I mean? So it takes longer to digest. So I'll then take quick and easy. Digestion information. I'm waiting. So let's cook. That's the trick. Let's put the sauce back on. 
golden brown perfect here we go wait for the pasta and it's done simple and quick simple sometimes in place is best why not why complicate yourself when you can have something easy nice and easy Salute. Hey, nice beer. I love beer. It's back for beer. I think it's ready for me. Yeah. Let's blend it. Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's drain it. Final try. Just to be sure. For me it's edible. Yeah. So let's drain the pasta. You got the sauce ready, everything is off. Alright. So let's drain it. Drain it well. Like I say, pasta doesn't mix well with oil, and this is the case. So make sure you drain it properly. See all the water drained. And are you mix. Ready to serve. Nice. Yes. Here's my friend dish. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's perfect for me. Nice middle course, easy to eat. Maybe I'll pour a little bit of fry. Are we gonna finish this? Me, I'm alright, honestly. I can't eat that more than that. Try it. Honestly, I don't want to waste it. Because I've already eaten that stupid pizza thing earlier on. Alright, maybe a little bit more oil and garlic on top. <laughs> Guys, this is your pasta. Ali Oli. Welcome cooking for blogs. Don't forget to subscribe. Many recipes will come. Ciao, bello.